Hi, my name is Tom Joblin and welcome to Mill Farm. And today I'm going to be opening Aston's Microphone Spirit. Zoom in. All I know about this microphone is that it's got a great reputation. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone and it is the, the better of two similar microphones. So we have the Spirit and the Origin. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. First impressions. Got the knife. it say on the casing oh it talks about its mesh head apparently this is one of the um, one of the selling points of the the Aston microphones is that how durable they are I guess the SM57 and 58 had the same you could uh, run over it in a car and it would still work the next day well let's have a look let's keep opening and put my remnants on the floor um, here I am, your new baby. Now you're part of the Aston family. Don't forget to register me. Cool little touch, I guess. Makes you feel like you're buying something special. Free sticker, free sticker. Oh, got a pin badge as well. Look at this. But here it is. Um, as you know, when you buy a lot of microphones, they come in their own protective casings. I guess this microphone claims to be its own protective casing because it is so durable. Um, I'm a big SE fan, um, and I know every time I buy those microphones, they usually come with some sort of metal case. That is the, that, this is the only thing left in there though. So it's a nice, I guess, uh, nature friendly packaging. All cardboard goes to the side as well. Okay, first impressions. It's got a really good weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a really good piece of solid. It's almost like a Damascus style steel. I don't know if you can see that in the shot. Can you see that? It's got like a, and on the back, the art of audio written on it. That's really cool. It feels really well built and it's really impressive. It's it's shiny. You can almost wear it around your neck. That's great. So we have a minus 10 dB and a minus 20 dB switch there, which as you know, if you can change the audio at the source, it will always sound better. And we have a high pass there. I wonder if it, having a high pass on a microphone always helps. It makes a massive difference. There's no, um, there's no uh, clip for it. There's no like um, a brace for it, but the uh, microphone stand screws straight into the microphone. It's slightly controversial because I always thought the clip made a big difference. You know, you could you could tip your microphone into what you're recording, but I guess here you're stuck with what the the stand does. So, but that's okay, and it is very close to where you would plug your XLR in. Um, I guess. You know, in the next video, we're going to review the audio of this and how it sounds. We might even see what it's like chucked onto a mic stand because I have a feeling that those two things might get in the way, especially for all your nice, chunky, good quality XLR cables. That might that mic stand situation, it just might get a little bit messy. But other than that, it looks fantastic. It looks durable. I love all the little touches on the box. I love the writing on the back, the art of audio. Where can you see that? There it is. I, that's, that's really fantastic. And I also know, I follow these guys on Instagram. I know they do uh, special editions with like your favorite artists on. Um, and they, you know, there's a lot of famous people using these in their home studios and in big studios. Um, and, and to be honest, and for the price, I. I <laughs> Yeah, you, you really, there's very few microphones in this price range. I think it's cost about 280 pounds um, that are gonna even, you know, just feel as good as this in your hands. Yeah, the switch feels good as well. It feels solid. It doesn't feel cheap and plastic like it's gonna give out. I think what makes this microphone different is that it's UK built. It looks fantastic and it's built really well. Um, 
I, I actually like the fact that it doesn't come in a big bulky case. You could just chuck that into a box with a load of 57s, and I really don't think it's going to get damaged. Um, tune in for our next video where we're going to take this microphone and two other microphones, one a bit more expensive and a one that's in a similar price range, and we're going to compare and see what they sound like and really see what you're you're getting. Are you getting your bang for your buck in this case? Um, yeah, tune in next time. See you later. But I feel like I need to just lie. Watch the birds fly.